Right now I have a Polar Grit. Uh, it comes with the strap as well, but I'm really interested in measuring my heart rate. I wanna spend an abundant amount of time in zone two on my rest days to bump up my lactic threshold. It's all about elk hunting, folks. It's all about energy system development. And so what we're trying to do is go head to head with the Garmin and the Polar. This is the Epix. Polar makes the best chest straps out there. Get those wet. You can put it underneath your shirt, right? And your diaphragm underneath your chest. I'm wearing two watches right now. I'm testing both. This is that Polar Grit X. All right, so I got this monitor on. On the Garmin, I'm gonna hit here. I wanna do strength. And I'm gonna go freestyle and press to start. And we're rolling. Over here, recording started. And we're rocking and rolling. This is the Garmin Connect app. So I like wearing this watch. I wore the Instinct. Jake's wearing that now. I wore it during hunting season, so the most steps I've ever done in a day elk hunting was 45,740. The most in a week of elk hunting was 129K and 434 k in one month. You can click on your activity. I just did a 27 minute strength training workout. And so it tells me my average heart rate was 96. I burned 147 calories. If we go back to like the snapshot, you can see for the day uh, we haven't done we haven't been super active today, but it tracks all this stuff. And the thing I like about this is you can connect with other people. So the Garmin app is pretty cool, but on the other hand, you got the Polar app, which is really cool too. Uh, it'll connect with yours and give you graphs and charts on your workouts. So we'll go, let's go yesterday. 24 minutes in zone one, 52 minutes in zone two, 31 minutes in zone three, that's not a fun zone to be in, and 24 minutes in zone four, which is like death, and 10 minutes in zone five, which is like max death, max effort. So dual watches, still testing, status update. All right, I wanna talk about Garmin watches for the outdoors folks, specifically hunters, cause I'm a hunter. You can see I got the Epix here. The original Instinct is what I wore for the last three years. A lot of people have said, hey, what watch are you using? That's the watch I was using. Been running this Epix for like probably the last month, just testing it out. Uh, battery life, first and foremost, is not great. It's gonna be, but it does it does beat its competitor, the Polar, which I've been testing. It's got about a 14 day charge and you can do the setting to where it will turn off if you're not looking at it. And then if you turn your wrist or whatever, it'll automatically pick sensor that you turns your wrist to look at what time it is. The display, you can have it customized and there's several settings. This is what I landed in on was just the time, the date and the altitude, but you could certainly have a bunch more like your heart rate, heart rate variability, all these cool features. For the workouts, super simple. You can hold it down and basically just decide, are you doing a strength training? Are you doing a trail run? Are you doing um, cardio, swimming? And you can add other activities. It can track your run. It's got navigation. It's got actual, like it'll show you the GPS of where you're at. It'll leave a, a breadcrumb trail of where you've been if you're worried about a backup device for navigation. This thing's got you. It does all those things. Plus it communicates with your phone which can be a good and a bad thing. I can turn that feature off within about three minutes. You could even look down if you get a text message and you're on a run and you wanna see if it's something that you need to stop and give a call to your spouse or what have you. So this watch is really good. It's the higher end model. I've never used a Phoenix. So it would be Epix, Phoenix, Instinct 2, and regular Instinct. All are great products. Garmin kills it. Um, I just like this fancier one for all the workout stuff that I'm doing. And I really like the app. It tracks my sleep my body battery to see if I'm well rested. A lot of times I feel like I'm beat up and I look at my watch and it's like, no nah, dude, you're just being a wimp. Go ahead and train today. And then other days I've looked at it and I thought I was feeling good. And it's like, you know, you should probably take a rest day. So it's kind of got a really cool feature like the whoop strap. Um, I would get a heart rate monitor sensor strap from Polar or Garmin to wear on your conditioning and your strength training workouts. It's just going to be a little bit more accurate, but it's got all of these sensors on the back that it's got the same sensors as the instinct 2 which is pretty hip whereas the in, the original og ain't got that many sensors so as far as charging this is like some weird proprietary thing i know jake doesn't like it and i don't like it either but you just charge it up this watch about every two weeks let's go to talk to jake now he's been running the garmin instinct 2 and the regular instinct for about a month let's see what he thinks all right guys so the instinct instinct 2 so I've worn both of these watches. They're both awesome. Really fast, I'm gonna tell you the difference. So looking at the housings, they're pretty much the same. I like the, the blue one a little bit better. So this is the Instinct 2. So everything is a little bit upgraded on this unit. The big difference, if you guys look at the back, so your heart rate monitors have been upgraded, the barometer sensors, so your altitude, 
um, the barometer change, all those have been upgraded. You have the same charging port, which I'm not a huge fan of this proprietary charging port. I wish that was something different. But other than that, both of these watches are really, really good. So going over the Instinct 2 Solar really fast, the battery life on this thing is amazing. Right now you can see the way that I have been wearing it, the way that it's been collecting sun, all those things. I have 30 days of battery. Previous watches that I've had right off of the charger is like 10 to 12 days, which that's a deal breaker for me. So the battery life on this thing is amazing. This interface, I love being able to look down. I can read this super easy and it goes away. I'm a very like a basic person, so I need altitude, I need the time, and I want my battery life and my steps. Those are the three things for me.